Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Learn English with James. Let's go to listen my interesting story. Have you seen this woman? How many times did I see her every day? Maybe 10 times. I saw her a lot. We were in the same classes together. So I saw her in the morning. I met her to walk to the lecture hall together. Every Wednesday, we walked past the Christian Society. They gave people free donuts, coffee, and tea. She always took a donut and a cup of tea. They tried to talk to her about God, and she said, Sorry, but God doesn't love me. If God loved me, I wouldn't be late today. The first time she did this, I laughed. But when she did it every Wednesday, I felt embarrassed. She said the same thing to the same people. I could see that they didn't want to give her donuts, but they had to. And maybe they thought that, one day, she wouldn't be late, and they could talk to her about God. Actually, we were never late. We met at almost the same time every day. When I was late, she walked without me. So I saw her in the morning when we walked to lectures. I saw her at lunchtime, too. She always went and sat in one place and ate her lunch. She had her own lunchbox every day. I wasn't like her. I never made my own lunch. I just bought lunch in one of the shops and ate with my friends. Once or twice I tried to invite her to eat with us, but she said no. I don't know your friends, she said. Well, that's why I'm inviting you, I said. No, thank you, she said. And that was that. I stopped inviting her. I knew that if she didn't want to meet them now, she would never want to meet them. In the afternoon, we had more lectures together. Then, on some days, we walked back home. She lives near me, of course. But many days, I went to study in the library after lectures. Okay, well not that often. But sometimes, when I wanted to be a good student, I did. Other days, I went with my friends into town and we bought clothes. When else did I see her? I actually saw her a lot on the weekends. When I was hungover, I went for walks in a park near my house. I saw her there, too. She didn't walk much. She just sat on one side of the park. She waited until people came in with their dogs. Then she went and played with the dogs. I think some people didn't like this. They just wanted to walk their dogs, but she played with the dogs for a very long time. I felt a bit embarrassed for her. But I said hello, of course. She didn't want to talk with me much. She never talked much, really. I didn't mind. Sometimes, it's nice to have a friend who doesn't talk much. But now, I wish I had talked to her more. Those were the places I saw her, usually. I sometimes saw her when I went out with my friends. Actually, that surprised me. Once or twice, we went to the pub, and I saw her there. She was sitting in the corner, alone, of course. I was surprised to see her in a pub. I thought she was drinking a glass of water. Then I went and said hello. 
If you're drinking water, why are you in a pub? I said. It's not water. It's vodka, she said. You're drinking that much vodka? I said. I drink slowly, she said. I didn't know what to say, so I went back to my friends. I watched her during the night. She did drink slowly, and she finished the whole glass. Then she left. I thought she would fall, because she was so drunk, but she didn't. She drank a lot of alcohol, I think. One time, I saw her at Catweasel. Catweasel was a performance club in the city. Every Thursday, they did a performance night. People played music, sang, danced, read poetry. My friend wanted me to read my poetry, but I was too embarrassed. We went to watch, anyway. And then we saw her there. She was singing. She was drunk, I think, the way she sang. Maybe she had drunk a big glass of vodka. But her singing was good. She sounded sad, but the music was good. We were all so surprised to see her there. That's the strange girl from your lectures, right? said my friends. Don't call her strange, I said. But she was strange. Not in a bad way. But her singing was strange. She was singing in a different language, but I didn't know what language it was. When she finished, I could see that people didn't really know what to think about it. I clapped a lot for her, though. Afterwards, I went and talked to her. I'm surprised to see you here, I said. Why, she said. Well, that was a hard question. I didn't want to say something unkind, so I said, I didn't know you sang. Oh yes, she said. I sing a lot. And why are you here? I, uh, I thought I was going to read some poetry, I said. But I was too embarrassed. Embarrassed, she said. We only have a bit of time in this world. Why be embarrassed? Go and do what you want. But is this all you really want? I said. I mean, you don't have any friends. I mean, I'm your friend, but... I was drunk, and I was saying unkind things. But she just laughed. Like I said, we don't have much time in this world. I don't want to be friends with people like your friends. They laugh about me, don't they? I like being friends with dogs, actually. They're nicer than people. I didn't want to be your friend, but you talked to me a lot, so I decided it was okay. I was very surprised. I had thought she liked me a lot, because I was one of her only friends. But I wasn't that important to her. That was the last time I saw her. Well, you know what happened. One day she was there, the next day she was gone. Maybe when she said we don't have much time in this world, she knew she was going to go. But where? The police looked everywhere. She wasn't in the university, or in town. She wasn't at home, or at a friend's house. She had no boyfriend or girlfriend, and her family hadn't seen her for years. They did find one thing, though. In her house, there was a note. It said, 
God doesn't love me. I know that. But they love me. I know that they do. And they're much better friends than all of you. Actually, they're better friends than dogs, but don't tell the dogs that. I wanted to introduce you to them, but they don't think you're the right kind of person. Sorry. You probably have too many friends. They like people who don't have a lot of friends. Have a good life, anyway. I'm going to have a very long and happy life. You'll die long before me, but that's okay. People in this world might think my singing is a bit strange, but they love it. Have a donut, if you want. Next to the note, there were hundreds of donuts. They were all the donuts she'd been given by the Christian society. Every week, she put them in her bag. I thought she ate them at lunch, but she didn't. She took them all home. The police didn't understand her message. I also didn't really understand it. I didn't want to understand it. I think sometimes it's better not to understand things, like if God is real or not. But sometimes, at night, I look at the sky and think of her.